since you're so sick. Unfortunately, Nate woke up with a fever again this morning. I feel so sad for him, and he's so mad at himself for not being better yet. But, he's making me go out instead of staying in and taking care of him all day. And I'm going to meet some friends. And it just started raining. I know. guys so we got some coffee since it was raining outside and then we walked all the way over to the great market hall in Budapest and I'm looking for my friends I think they're here somewhere, maybe. Hey, Kara. <laughs> These are our friends from Tennessee, Dylan and Kirsten. Hello. They've been traveling around, and we met here in Budapest for the next few days, and then we're going to Germany together. And I'm happy that I was made to hang out with while they sick. Oh, we miss Nate. We miss Nate. <laughs> so we're gonna explore okay. this market. We have yeah. no idea what it is. Tell us what it is, Dylan. Well. I don't really know the history of it, but there's a lot of food, a lot of beverages, and a lot of paprika, which That's is what the I Hungarians are known for. I feel like it needs to be known that this guy taught me everything I know about videoing and editing and photography. So I owe all of our vlog success to this Stop guy. Okay. <laughs> this place has so much stuff. Oh, like Ooh. potato. Yes, potato, beef, and vegetables. Oh, okay. And that's traditional? Yeah. Traditional. Yeah. Okay. You like this one? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. Let's do that one. Thank you. So Dylan's been to Hungary before and he said that this is the traditional dish. It's called goulash. It smells really good. It's really good. I wish it was cold outside. This is like the best wintertime meal. Next up we have stuffed cabbage with more cabbage. Sour cream and spicy. And a big sausage. <laughs> and a big sausage. Big old Hungarian sausage. <laughs> so the cabbage is stuffed with rice and meat, but the rice is like hard. We're calling it al dente rice. It tastes like it's not cooked, but it gives it a nice texture. I like it. That was delicious. Dylan told me about these magic boxes that Budapest is known for, and you have to figure out how to open them because right now you can't open it. Yeah, it's just the box. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is serious. <laughs> <laughs> that box opens. I'm guaranteeing it. No, it doesn't. You want I think me to try? You have to do it. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay. How do I do this? Let again? the engineer figure it out. Oh, okay. So watch. Ready? No. Ready? No. Are you focused? No. <laughs> okay. Ready? So it slides. Open. Shut up. Okay. There's the keyhole. What? But where's the key? <gasps> there. Oh. Where? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<gasps> I love it! <laughs> it's got a little mirror in it. That took you like two seconds. Market Hall. It closed at six. We left at after six. And what are we doing now? We are watching the sunset at this wonderful bridge over here. Look how pretty. Bridge and the sunset. Sunset. And for people that are interested, if you look right above my finger, this is a church inside a cave. What? Right there. Yeah, I didn't tell you about that. I just told you. We just have now. to go. There's a church inside this cave right here. So yeah, now we're gonna enjoy the sunset. Cue really awesome time lapse. Beautiful. Beautiful. So cool. <laughs> the uh, statue just is so inspiring. <laughs> and now we are going over the bridge and to the parliament because that's where Dylan said we should go. It's brightly lit at night and it's a beautiful building. You'll see it in like three seconds. What are, we, what are we doing? What are you doing? We're on a bridge which would never be allowed in America, but it's allowed here and it's so fun. <laughs> so fun. What are we looking at? This is the Danube River. This is a bridge with an unknown name. <laughs> We're on the adjacent bridge. Do you know the name of this one? Nope. Also unknown. Also unknown. We'll look it up later. I'll put it in the description. <laughs> and there is also one more bridge over yonder. But all of these lights. So yeah, the plan was to go to the parliament building and then we got to Directed by this bridge, and we haven't left the bridge yet. We haven't. We this guy's taking a it. picture of us. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> when Nate's not here, the vlogging's not very productive. <laughs> I apologize for that. <laughs> That's why Nate is the videographer, and I'm usually in front of the camera. Because oh, <laughs> I get Nate. really distracted. <laughs> sorry, <you know>? Nate. <laughs> we hope you feel better, and I love you. building and while I was time-lapsing we looked up some facts it has 40 million bricks it's crazy crazy it's the tallest in Budapest and it's the largest building in Hungary <laughs> and now we are ending the night with <laughs> if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a movie. <laughs> Two, three. <laughs> we both picked up our legs. 
behind us and they're laughing because we're stupid uh. but we're having the most fun it's really fun we're just sitting here in Budapest on a bridge <laughs> that this guy taught me everything I know about videoing and editing and photography. So I owe all of our vlog success to this Stop guy. Okay. <laughs> this place has so much stuff. Oh, Ooh. potato. Oh, okay. And that's traditional? I feel so sad for him, and he's so mad at himself for not being better yet. But, he's making me go out instead of staying in and taking care of him all day. And I'm going to 